Thank you, Madam Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Will the Prime Minister update the House on actions the government is taking to keep Australians safe from terrorism? I call the Honourable the Prime Minister. Well, Madam Speaker, I, I do thank the member for Robertson for a question. And Madam, Madam Speaker, as the member for Robertson well knows, the safety of our community is the highest responsibility of government. And Madam Speaker, I want to thank uh, all those who are involved in discharging that responsibility on our behalf. The Australian Federal Police, uh, the State Police, members of the Australian Defence Force, uh, members of ASIO and our other security agencies. And regrettably, Madam Speaker, their vigilance is more necessary than ever because the terror threat to our country is high and rising. I regret to say, Madam Speaker, that there are now uh, well over 100 Australians uh, fighting with terror groups in Iraq and Syria. There are now almost 150 Australians known to be supporting uh, these terror groups here at home. Even more regrettably, Madam Speaker, there are about 400 individuals uh, known to our security agencies who are talking about violence against their fellow Australians. The inspiration for all this, Madam Speaker, is the Islamist death cult, uh, Daesh or ISIL, which is responsible for the new dark age now settling over significant parts of Syria and Iraq. And, Madam Speaker, as we know, to our cost, this death cult is reaching out to our country. Uh, we have saw seen uh, the frenzied attack on two policemen in Victoria, uh, and just uh, before Christmas we saw the Martin Place atrocity inspired by this death cult. But, Madam Speaker, our community is fighting back. Uh, this government uh, has uh, put an extra $630 million into our police and security agencies. There are now counter-terrorism teams at all our international airports. Uh, there's biometric screening being rolled out to stop people uh, leaving on false passports. There's 49 additional AFP officers uh, working on counter-terrorism. Uh, and, Madam Speaker, we are making a much bigger effort to counter online radicalisation. Today, Madam Speaker, I released our counter-terrorism review. There will be a national counter-terrorism coordinator to bring the same drive and focus to this as we have brought to uh, uh, Operation Sovereign Borders and Operation Bring Them Home. There will be changes to the Citizenship Act uh, to strip uh, or suspend the citizenship of dual nationals involved in terrorism. And, Madam Speaker, we will be strengthening our prohibitions on racial and religious vilification. This is about Australian values. We should never forget the pledge that all of us are encouraged to make at citizenship ceremonies. I pledge myself to Australia and its people whose democratic beliefs I share, uh, whose rights and liberties I share, whose laws I will uphold and obey. Madam Speaker, we will keep our country safe. We will never sacrifice our liberties in order to defend them, but, Madam Speaker, we will never let people take advantage of us either. Yeah.